Butech Boroscope's newest video boroscope, the VJ4, is equipped with many new options to assist with essential maintenance and inspection requirements, including reference measurement. The following video details the five simple step process to achieve precise results while utilizing Butech's VJ4 reference measurement. These steps are to first capture a quality inspection image. The second step is to locate the image. The third step is to define the reference line, lines requiring measurement, and the known length. And the fourth step is to adjust font or line settings. And finally, step five is to end by saving the image. Step one, first to begin using the reference measurement feature on the VJ4 video boroscope, you will want to take a still image of the inspection area to produce the most accurate reference measurements Position the distal tip close to or use the zoom function to capture the entire area that requires measurement before pressing the photo capture trigger. As a best practice, it can be helpful to utilize the image annotation function to quickly recognize any images that require reference measurement when searching through numerous files and or folders. Step two. The next step is to locate the saved image or images. Immediately after an image is captured that requires reference measurement, users can press and hold the left control button while in live image mode to select enter image editing mode. If multiple images are saved, it would be easiest to search for an image or images stored by selecting the image browsing icon in the menu navigation screen, locating the image, followed by selecting enter image editing mode. Step three, once in image editing mode, select reference measurement, which is represented by the ruler icon. Follow the steps displayed on the screen. Begin by tapping two points with the stylus on the screen from left to right to indicate your measurement reference. A red line will appear along with the pixel value in the reference line field. Next, tap two points with the stylus to indicate the distance or distances you would like to have measured. A green line and its pixel value will appear. After lengths to be measured are plotted, the last prompt is to input a number for the known length of the red reference line. With this example, it is known that the diameter of a penny is 19.05 millimeters. After entering the length of the reference, measurement results will display in green text above each measurement line. Step four, if measurement results become truncated or are too small or the line size needs to be adjusted, Users can manipulate the size of the font or lines within the settings icon. Use the stylus, tap the minus or plus icons to decrease or increase font or line sizes as needed. It is a best practice to use a font size ranging from 10 to 15 and a line size ranging from one to three. Step five, be sure to tap the save icon before returning to the live image screen. The reference measurement results will save as a new image, keeping the original file without the measurements displayed, allowing both before and after images to easily be shared. At ViewTech, we understand how important this video boroscope is to your business operations. If technical questions arise, replacement accessories are needed, or inspection requirements change and additional boroscopes are required, our video boroscope experts are always here to assist. To view our full library of instructional boroscope videos, visit our website, viewtech.com.